All right then guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and I am back with another legend review in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a very highly rated player. We have the 90 rated Rude Van Nistelrooy. Now, I was very excited to go into this review, you know, start using this card because last year Rude Van Nistelrooy was insane for me. Very, 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 very good player and I had a lot of fun using him last year. He just seemed to, you know, be one of the players that outperformed their stats and I just had a lot of fun using them bottom line a lot of you guys have come to me already saying that I should use Van Nistelrooy this year because he is just as good if not better so hopefully this review guys does not disappoint any of you I am going to be 100% truthful I always am in my reviews uh, and let's get straight down to it now when it comes to stats with this boy they are pretty awesome in game he's got 92 attack position and 90 reactions 86 acceleration 82 sprint speed 90 head and accuracy and penalties 93 finishing his stats pretty much all round guys for a 90 rated legend are very very good in my opinion let me go through his minuses first for you guys he doesn't make the runs now he's a player like i have used a lot of lately guys the sort of player where he would just wait for the ball to be passed to him rather than make the run uh, and you know be in position to you know score more goals for me basically so just keep that in mind if you guys do decide to buy him then he may not be in the position that you need him to be in at times and he may not make the runs that you need him to make all the time you know so just keep that in mind his strength was pretty crap for me which is a big big surprise I thought he was be you know I thought he'd be a hell of a lot stronger than, than he turned out to be for me he was out muscled um, and pushed off the ball by a lot of defenders that I personally would have expected him to keep the ball from guys so just keep that in mind for me he was very weak so he possibly will be for you too he did not feel like 84 pace for me now he has got 84 pace on the card guys if you didn't already know you should have but in case you didn't he has but he didn't feel like it for me in my opinion it felt like it was in somewhere to the mid to the late 70s it did not feel anywhere no, uh, anywhere near 84 pace for me so that was a very very big downside whenever I use a legend and they do not perform like their stats on the card then that's always a massive disappointment to see that his dribbling on ball control was terrible for me now that's one of the biggest things about this card for me I mean last year Rude van der Roy's dribbling stat on the card was pretty crap it's very very similar to what it is this year but is in but in game he really did outperform it but this year is dribbling it was crap for me I don't know if I was doing something wrong I have no idea but I was dribbling with this card like I do every other card and it was just really slow and he was really sluggish on the ball you will probably see that in the goals guys so definitely do not buy this ball if you have to have good dribbling and ball control in your strikers and lastly like I've already mentioned his positioning and making the runs was very very inconsistent if ever he did them for me pretty much everything that I haven't mentioned guys I found to be a plus with this card his weak foot was very reliable for me you will see an absolutely fantastic goal in this video he scored from about 20 25 yards with his with his weak foot I was running down towards the box I just instantly stopped um, and I went to shoot with his right foot but the game decided to shoot with his left foot and it glided top corner guys it was fantastic very reliable on his weak foot for me he's got three star skills and three star weak foot so you know it definitely did uh, feel a lot better than a three star weak foot for me skillers out there won't exactly enjoy using him guys because all you are can do really is you know step overs roulettes the basic stuff you know you're limited to the amount of skills you can do with this card if you have to have players or strikers that have the ability to use Berber spins, you know, um, rainbow flicks, Ronaldo chops, all that fancy stuff. Rude van Nistelrooy definitely is not an option for you. His uh, shooting all round was very, very, very reliable for me. Outside the box and inside the box, it felt like for me what 88 shooting should feel like. And his passing was surprisingly good for me as well, as well as his aerial ability he scored some pretty nice headers for me. Now, is he worth it, guys? His strengths are on the left his weaknesses are on the right I've got to say he is not worth it now he currently goes for around about a million and fifty thousand coin mark I think is what he currently goes for I personally do not think he is worth more than a million coins I had a I had fun using him guys I'm not gonna lie he's an half decent player to use in this game but he doesn't perform to the standard that I would expect from a player that goes for a million coins or a million coins more I've given him a final score of a straight out nine out of ten he definitely 
definitely deserves 9 out of 10 but I can't give him any more guys because from the performance that he put in for me and the quality he played like in this game for me he does not deserve anything more than 9 out of 10 guys and that's going to wrap up this Van Nistelrooy review if this did help you decide whether or not to buy him as always I like to say if my reviews do help you out leaving a like on them really really does help the channel guys subscribe now for more legend reviews to come in the future a link is in my Twitter account guys go follow me over there for updates on reviews and you know just random stuff basically uh, and as always from me guys take care and I will see you all next time ta-da guys